Good afternoon you guys. So today I'm here with the vehicle. We recently got a Toyota Aqua. In America they call it a Prius C. So today I'm going to do a review update on this vehicle for you all. And <laughs> why not put it in the Vlogmas vlogs you guys. Because this is our brand new family ride. Today's vlog we're going to talk about how we purchase it. Financing through the bank. What the process was like and you're going to get a view inside the vehicle as well So let's start with the back. Yes, you guys, it's a hashback vehicle. Inside the car now, you have lots of storage, you guys. Last time when we went Pennywise, we had Pampers, Wipes, and about seven Pennywise bags over here. Two persons could actually sit in the back here as well. Not for normal purpose <laughs> of driving around. Underneath, you have a spare tire or you could have the electronic sealant to seal your tire it's up to you what you want you could also ask the dealer this one that i have is actually a 2017 model it's not the new model but it's the old one the new 2017 models have reflectors to the back of the vehicle you guys this is one of my favorite features the back of this car the seats could go down completely this model that i have is the L model which is the lowest grade normally the S model it could fall into two so one seat could go down and the next two could stand up or you could put down all three reason why this was important for me you guys is remember at, at times I do my handyman services where I do power washing electrical welding and lawn maintenance so I always wanted a vehicle where I could convert the back or put the seat down so I could transport my stuff so yes this is how it looks from the side and to put back up the seat you have two latch to clip back in place all right let's jump back to the front of the vehicle this one comes with a sensor navigational pole right basically this helps you guide it's a guidance pole when you're parking you use this to gauge to know okay i'm close to something so no it's not a radio antenna for those who are wondering some of the vehicles come with it some don't mines did not come with fog lights most people want fog lights in the vehicle you can install it after for 500 550 for it let me open the front here for you guys this is what the engine looks like uh, hybrid synergy drive with your engine your air filters your transmission fluid your oil things that okay we don't need to know about but ever so often we do have to carry it to maintain <laughs> so you guys would have remember we told you all that the two options you were really looking at because this favorite car was the note because it's small and compact but we were looking at either a hybrid vehicle or a cng so we decided to go with the hybrid you guys so this this model that we got you guys it's basically the toyota aqua aka prius c if you look it up on youtube prius c is the name for it in america we got the basic package which is the l grade package um who i purchased this vehicle from i purchased this vehicle from a dealer in Curia called Addis, you guys. Addis. I got excellent service. The pricing of the vehicle was awesome, you guys. Um, most most places you'll see on Facebook, you guys, that the 2016 S model is selling for roughly seventy-five thousand dollars. And the reason for that, well, now the prices of these aquas are going up because next year the government 
returning the tax currently for the past four or five years i believe there were tax exemptions on cars with engines smaller than 1.5 liters hybrid vehicles if they won't pay any tax to clear it and they estimate that the tax to be added to it is roughly 25 30 thousand dollars so next year these vehicles that cost roughly 75 80 thousand right now next year they're expecting it to cost about uh hundred and five thousand dollars you guys so i'm making this vlog right now if you all have any questions about it i'm going to tell you about financing everything in this vlogmas episode so <laughs> don't worry you all can find out how easy it was to organize your vehicle to get your vehicle before christmas you guys so don't worry um so yeah let's jump back into the vehicle let me jump into the passenger side right now so as I said <laughs> when it was time to purchase a vehicle you guys I I went to the credit union first and the credit union was like you see this thing on the net here Gabby go and see this and Gabby go and be like Jacob I think on the net face because Gabby they'll just crack up with my face <laughs> yes so I said that's how you know what I join a one star vehicle to put on a little AC all right yes so you know you don't see the breeze the blow mm -hmm. turn off the radio all right so yeah so I said okay I have an account with the credit union let me go to the credit union and go to the credit union to get a vehicle and then was like um well 25 percent i was like what madness is this i i want my average my budget was seventy five thousand dollars and they was like you need to put on like sixteen thousand dollars so that's how i me one time and then my partner now he tell me hey boy i went through fcb and i was like fcb yeah now yeah boy that was my last option but that was the best thing and right now financial institutions you guys they are offering you a hundred percent financing so that is the good thing though you guys but I did not purchase this vehicle with a hundred percent financing what I did I put ten percent down so for those who are interested in buying a new vehicle you mostly put about five percent down on a new vehicle this vehicle is a roll on roll off it's a used vehicle its age is three years what I had to do with first citizens you guys I had to leave how much 10% in my account right and I will tell you guys with the fees and everything let's say it was a total about 12% in total so honestly speaking to get a vehicle that is under 100,000 you don't have to leave more than 10,000 TT dollars in your account so that's the good news for those who have money saved after buy an old vehicle or some kind of vehicle anything I will tell you all Better you all go to the bank, put a 8,000 and 9,000 and get your vehicle and pay your monthly installments because you all, it's up to you how much years you want to pay for your vehicle. If you want to pay it for 4 years, 5 years, 6 years, but the promotion that everybody advertising, yes, you could get the vehicle for roughly $1,200 a month. It is true. It is correct. All you have to do is leave your 10% in your financial institution, anyone you chose. I went to FCB so what I had to do is I went to Addis first you guys and I got a quotation the quotation I then went to First Citizens on a Thursday you guys I carried in my job letter my pay slip a picture of my um BRR number but I actually had to go back and get the original readout from the BRR office you guys so make sure you have all the correct documents so job letter pay slip BIR number you guys quotation from the dealer and my my loan approval took three days but normally it take about 24 hours to be approved the reason why it took so long for me is because I went in Thursday and then Friday I went and dropped back the BIR number and the Monday it was approved you guys and once it, all you need to have is the money in your account so when the Monday the loan was approved I just had to call the dealership and say, hey, Ollie, 
I inside don't worry the bank also sends an email to let them know that uh, we are proven we are financing the vehicle a hundred percent so the bank is keeping your ten percent putting their ninety percent to finance the vehicle earlier and they they got it the Monday afternoon the Wednesday the dealership took the vehicle to Ministry of Works and Transport for inspections and then later on that week they started the processing licensing office normally licensing office takes about a week to two weeks yes you hear me correctly a week to two weeks to register your vehicle issue your license plate number those type of things so in total the bank took about three days for me to get approved so i went in the thursday the monday was approved paperwork out I went to the dealer sign up papers basically on the Monday afternoon or the Tuesday and that week fly and then the following week on the Friday I collected my vehicle so the process took me approximately I would say like about a 15 days process you guys so the bank the Thursday the dealership the Monday Tuesday and then the following week the Friday I received the vehicle you guys but take note, it's sounding easy all here, but I'm going to tell all here everything that went on. When I went back to the bank now, on the Monday, I got a letter to, talk to, to take to my job. That letter is for my salary to continue running through FCB because yes, my government salary passed through FCB every month, but they needed for me to, hey, you can't change it, do up this letter for work to sign off on to know hey, my salary is not to change from this financial institution so that is a, a day run for you to go to the bank get that letter go to your work sign it drop it back to the bank so remember one day to go in the bank to get your paperwork approved them kind of thing also you have to take the letter from the bank to your work to sign bring it back for them now and on the big day disbursement that is the day supposed to be the best day of your life right so my day was on a friday as i told you i was supposed to collect the vehicle all the disbursement supposed to be the happiest day of your life but it's also going to be one of the most busy day of your life what went on for disbursement now i got an appointment for nine o'clock because i said hey, hey i have real up and down to do so i got an appointment for nine o'clock went to the bank nine o'clock i was seen by somebody 10 o'clock because the person who was assisting me was out and leave but she made sure that I was handled even though she wasn't there when I went into the bank the Friday now at 10 o'clock I was seen we handle paperwork those type of things and by quarter past 11 I had finished sign up paperwork everything everything was approved and now I had to go over to a lawyer's office walking distance from the branch so you had legal paperwork to handle now so I went over sign up the lawyer paperwork return to first citizens give them back the document at this time they gave me a check to take to my insurance broker i have an insurance broker named anthony you guys so for those who are actually watching this vehicle and interested just shoot me a message later on anthony was able to get me insurance at a reduced rate so i have an insurance broker called anthony he got me insurance but let me also say that the dealer are these you guys they also have a package you guys so once you buy a vehicle from Addis, which is exciting news you all Addis will actually help you get insurance because Addis, that dealership that man and trish you guys Addis, all the top up my hats off to them Addis were able to give me a better insurance rate than my insurance broker you guys because they are partners with bankers insurance you guys so I did take insurance with my insurance broker. Reason for that is because I'm a loyal fella. When I could not have got insurance on my motorcycle with anybody else, Anthony made it possible. So I will not lie to tell you all. And I told him that when he offered me the insurance, I said, I'll take the quote everything. And I negotiated to get my rate reduced, but I stick with Anthony because I'm a loyal guy. So I'm telling you guys right now, Anthony, awesome insurance you all could get it at a better price than anybody else because most people who purchase these vehicles they normally pay six thousand five thousand a year for their insurance and my license was only four years old anthony was able to get that down to three thousand something dollars you guys 
and Adi's dealership was able to beat Anthony's price to get it at an even lower prices. So I tell them all if you want to buy a vehicle and get it service, also get good insurance. Adi's is the place to check and cure up you guys. Adi's is right before the turn off. Like you want to go into um the back road, like you want to swing in by licensing office there. It's a big blue building at the side. You have to make a pass in Green's general cycle, turning in the corner on the left and making it wrongs and come around. Only I would love to insert screenshots and all kind of thing in this video, but my phone recently conk out. So I'm making Vlogmas videos and videos with initially phone you guys and I don't really have much things available. So I'm, I'm really disappointed that I can't do everything I want to do and show because... I'm not getting back a phone no time soon after wait for it to return because it's under warranty. But I'm telling you guys, go up on Facebook, Addies, A D E E S, you guys, Addies. Awesome, you guys. I was able to get my car at a best price. My battery, when did the battery life expectancy, you guys? The battery life expectancy was actually at 91%. So price was awesome the battery percentage awesome as well this vehicle gives you around 650 kilometers on a full tank it costs roughly 140 to 150 dollars to fill up this car with super and that lasts you on average about two weeks you guys so yeah a normal car about 180 and you get about three four hundred kilometers off a regular vehicle so this vehicle your gas bill is roughly three hundred dollars a month you're not going to spend more than 450 you're not going to fill up these vehicles more than three times a month earlier unless you really push your numbers and going for places you're not going to fill up these cars more than three times a month you guys so yeah back to disbursement now so i had to get the the check from the bank to carry to the insurance broker to pay for the insurance get the insurance sign a paperwork sign to return to the bank so now i had to return to the bank and remember first citizens i read my dealing with my insurance broker is port of spain you guys when i came back i remember the insurance and those type of things now i'm back to the bank seeing the person who doing the paperwork and thing for me and i have to wait for the check now to take the check to the dealer so they could give me my vehicle but at 12 12 18 i'm in port of spain and i have to get back to the bank before one o'clock before they close because you know the bank closes on a friday i open back at three o'clock one to three right i reach back at the bank one o'clock and it dot so i was able to go inside fill out whatever paperwork and she issued me the check and i was able to take the check to the dealer but now for me to go by the dealer now i Basically, I decided that I'm going to come home, park my motorcycle home, be a change and travel down the road. Because remember, I'm doing all of this up and down, up and down, and now I have to collect the vehicle. So I came home, park up my bike, travel to the dealership. I met with the boss, Ole, boss man, Trisha. Two of them is the best, Ole, Mr. Rampy soon. He's awesome. He was very informative. He told me about everything that I needed to know. And after sales, I could call, message anytime and get information. So you know, that process, when I reached back, I spent about a half an hour there. Talk about how everything works, the paperwork, the, um, the three months warranty and those type of things, the maintenance period. So even if you don't know about vehicles, this dealer sit down and talk to you about everything and make sure that you know. And if you have questions, you could call back and find out all here. So yeah, that was actually awesome. I enjoyed that conversation with him. And also we, we, we were talking about licensing office, you guys, because when I registered my motorcycle, it took me, I bought, purchased my bike on a Monday. And I got my bike the following Monday because Trinidad and Tobago licensing office, you guys. Things don't work smoothly. It's supposed to be that you could go licensing office and get your paperwork done in two, three days. And not be, don't say because of the pandemic, things are taking this long. Because I will tell you, it's way before the pandemic. Because I purchased my motorcycle in 2018 and I had that same experience. Now, I will say, as I said, 
I took a week back then. This time I'll say I took close to two weeks licensing offers, the things that they have to go through. Because remember, we just have to go through small things, you know, but the dealers, when they bring these vehicles through, they pour clearing, they have a cancellation report to issue to them to show them the vehicle was manufactured so, so, so date. And then it was cancelled, and that's how they were able to bring it in Trinidad for resale. So there's a lot of paperwork and behind the scenes that they have to go through as well, you guys. So I wasn't impatient to think like, hey, I want my vehicle, quick, quick, quick. But I'm telling you all, you all can get a vehicle in, in about 15 days. While you're watching this vlog and all, you could go online and request an appointment with your with your bank for a, a loan because that is why i did I, I i asked for a loan date set it as the thursday and the tuesday i went looking for quotations and i came across addies i met trisha and the next lady at the dealership and the way they spoke to me you guys i was like this is the dealership i want to purchase my vehicle from all right so look baby girl come and join me now <laughs> hello <laughs> yes so in the back here i normally have her car seat it actually goes behind the passenger seat so nish and her sits in the back the front seat is mostly empty all the time <laughs> and you guys as as a family we need to make conscious decisions and understand how it will affect us so that is one of the reasons for getting this vehicle gas mileage maintenance of the vehicle affordable and use it as a source of income as well to generate wealth to help pay off debt so we're not just taking it as a new added bill when the money comes we're going to use the vehicle to do road trips enjoy ourselves use it to earn our extra income as well and be able to move around as a family good so yes i have a phone mount as well that's what we stick on the window for baby girl to watch a cartoon because yeah cartoon is vibes right <laughs> so as i said you guys the process with the bank and those type of things i find it was okay i say you could get your vehicle in about 15 days time just get your quotation i actually was going to go by the same dealership my friend purchased his vehicle and first time i call i didn't get through second time i call i even went fd for funds and i rima and when I reached Aries, I was like, the vibes I get from here, what I see, I don't want to go nowhere else all there. So, I could recommend Aries. I had a real good experience, you guys. You all look around. Also, check out Aries, you guys. They were awesome. I'm going to give you the tour of inside the vehicle now to show you all some of the things. Um, let me start by telling you what's the difference with the L and the S grade. Okay. The L grade is the basic, the S is basically the standard model. The main difference between it is the back windows are not powered windows, it's roll up windows. Also, there's no windshield wiper on the back of the L model and the S model has a windshield wiper. So that's the difference between it basically 10,000 difference you guys because it could get a L grade for roughly 70,000 and it could get a S grade for roughly 80,000 for the 2017 models so that's the main difference um let me flip the camera over all right let me start in the middle here so this is the deck you guys my deck is a little bit plain um it does not have a camera so i have reverse camera and a camera installed to the front of the vehicle but because the deck is not compatible i am not able to use the reverse camera that's okay you guys because even if you buy the s model your deck is going to be in japanese so it's recommended if you want to you can change your deck afterwards into an english deck for about a thousand dollars over here in the glove compartment i have auxiliary cable to charge my phone play flash drive the vehicle also has bluetooth i have a cigarette lighter port here where i have a, a charger installed over here is the settings for electric mode eco mode traction this is the steering wheel over here you guys these are the power locks to the front and the two power steering window locks as well the ac vents 
<laughs> Naraya clapping. I am six feet two. And I could sit in the back and the front of this vehicle comfortable. The battery charges while you're driving and using brakes. This is the distance travel so far. And this over here is the vehicle in park, the kilometers, and the bars with how many gas is actually left. Your AC, your fan settings, you could put it on auto, seat warmers, um, the windows in front and back for heat. Let me see if I could show you power windows, the headlights, lane assist. Yes, you guys. So, these vehicles have lots, 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 lots of features. There's about five cup holders, two here, one over here, one over here, and also one over here. So with this model it does not have a glass on the passenger side over here there's one on the driver side though there's reading light over here and the light in the back here as well so if you want you could install led lights basically up to you if you want to convert the lights to led or leave it as is but i'm in the passenger seats i'm very comfortable if i go in the back seat as well I'm very comfortable, you guys. Um, if you all have any questions, you can leave it in the comment section. I think I basically touched on everything for you guys. As I said, if you want to purchase one of these vehicles right now, honestly speaking, I don't think you need more than $9,000 in your account, which is 10% financing to get one of these vehicles. Don't, don't buy a used car because what everybody doing right now is selling off their used car for 20 30 thousand to take out one of these because as i told you all it's roughly 1200 dollars a month for six years or roughly 13 something for five years and about 15 for four years so that's what people are doing right now you guys go the six years pay it off earlier but Make sure you have wiggle room in your pocket. That's why we took the six years, you guys. Baby girl, you ready to drive? Watch she? Yeah. <laughs> yes, yeah, sorry. Um, the Shili is actually inside working right now. I'm trying to pre-record these Vlogmas episodes because I will be working not every day I'm home. So ever so often you all would get videos recorded today for today and sometimes you all will get pre-recorded videos because I'm working, Nish is working and we're trying to do Vlogmas and all we have is initially phone because my phone got damaged and I'm waiting to get it back. Hopefully I get it back before Christmas so I can get some real good Vlogmas videos and things for you all. But what you all think about the vehicle? Are you looking into vehicles as well? Watch Naraya face. <laughs> Naraya, you like the car? You like the car? Say yeah. Say yeah. She's some dimension all there. They like to say that all she has she daddy face. Mm -mm. <laughs> so yeah, you guys. Um, <laughs> you laughing now? It's been years now no saying buy a car, buy a car. So we finally did it. We finally have it. She's actually trying to learn how to drive as well. So who knows, you all might get to see that in a Vlogmas episode. As I said, I really trying you guys, but I hurt it because this was a year we say, okay, we go and do it and then boom shot with your car and then phone my shop. <laughs> but let me leave you all now and I'll see you all in the next episode, the next vlog. So I'll see you guys tomorrow, please God. Bye.